Hey, hey guys, Doodle Stars here. These are my boxes, and we are playing a game called The House Abandoned. LD36 presents. The time is 22.05, a no code game. They worked on. Um, the guy that worked on this worked on. on. Alien. Alien Isolation. So that should be fun. Yeah. It's an interactive horror adventure. It is text based. You pull, you pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Check glove box. Are you serious? Check glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Um, look around car. It's a nice clean car. Not much to see, but there's a glove box. Cool. Um, exit car. I, I didn't say space car. Exit car. Thank you. You get out the car and stretch your legs. In front of, the house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the back of the house. Um. Okay. Go towards house. Are you serious? Go to house. Go. Go. To front door. Approach house. Go to yard. You walk around to the yard. You walk through to the yard. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Good memories indeed. Okay, what must I do? You, you, a lot of time here with your family. Look around. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Look at generator. The fuel gauge is healthy and is manually operated by a switch. Operate switch. Pull switch. Maybe that'll do some... Well, you're here with your family on good memories. You walk through to the yard, you spent a lot... What the fuck? Look at generator. The fuel gauge is healthy and is manually operated. Um, operate fuel gorge what the hell am I supposed to do pull lever turn switch on what the fuck do you want from me Jesus Ugh. I didn't burp um turn generator on activate generator Activate switch. What the fuck? Go to the front door. Yeah, 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 we get it all. We get it all. We get it all. We get it all. Um Enter house. The door is locked. Unlock door. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Okay. Um Enter house. This is gonna be a long adventure. You enter the house of the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Switch on lights. Why? You should be it should be able to nail it down. That's what a text-based adventure is about. Switch lights on. Switch light on. You're fucking kidding me. A click and nothing. There is no power. The note should say how to restore it. Read note. As it's too dark. Go outside. Yeah, yeah, okay. Read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Press any key. Okay. Go to yard. Go to yard. Walk around to the yard. Go f for. Go to the generator. 
You are next to the generator. Um, turn, whoops, turn generator on. <sighs> okay, so basically, the premise of this game is supposed to be that it, it immerses you eventually, eventually, after you've decided exactly the right thing to say, because shit, if you get one letter wrong, you don't get it. So, activate lever. Activate generator switch. Turn generator on. Turn on generator. Your fucking mother bitches. Yo, I wanted to say a bad word. You switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. Okay, go to front door. Go back around to the front of the house. By the way, don't you like my 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 new new hat? I like it. Enter house. I like my new hat. You enter the house the whole way. Switch on light. Switch light on. You switch the lights on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There's a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Um, look around. It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. Look at utility room. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Eat cereal. Carve a pumpkin. As it is almost Halloween. Okay, no. Exit kitchen. Bored? I never said I was bored. You go back to the hallway. Okay. Go to living room. Living room. You go to the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Um, okay, look around. Let's do that. There is nothing here of interest. Exit. Okay, exit. Living room. You go back into the hallway. The hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen. Oh, wait. We read this upstairs. I mean, we read this already. Go upstairs. We're going upstairs. You make your way upstairs. The stairwell landing. What? There is a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures that door on the walls. Images of happy times. Look around. The standard landing. There are picture frames covering one wall. Look at pictures. Whoops, that is not how you spell pictures. Family photos and holiday snaps. Our happy family. Okay. Enter bathroom. They only have one bathroom. You're in the in the whole house. You are in the bathroom. There's no... So not much to note, but it's all in good order. Take a shit. Brush your teeth. Uh, well then, what must I do? Use medicinal weed. Okay, fine. Exit bathroom. I'm sorry, I don't. Exit bathroom. Fuck off. Leave bathroom. What must I go? Go back. You return to the hall. You've gotta be kidding. You're this. It's pissing me off. Um, go. Oh God, go into sister's room. Go into my sister's bedroom. Go into sister's bedroom. Go into. Go in sister's room. You fucking vagina. You enter what used to be Jennifer's room. Okay. It's empty now and has been for years. It's remarkably dust-free, considering. Look around. It's completely empty. Don't lie. Exit room. Leave. You go back into the hallway. 
Yeah, we, we, we get it, we get it. Go into my room. Go in my room. The English is top notch in this. You enter your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. Open gift. Open box. You open the present excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 128K plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Um, okay. Plug in computer. You untangle the cables to set up the compu computer. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. Put in game. Uh, okay. Play game. You put the cassette in the computer. Ah, back in the days. And press play. Oh shit! <laughs> what just happened? Someone just killed Fuck! Yo, 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 I got the volume way up, okay? Just chill your titties. This is not cool. The time is now zero, 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 zero. It is midnight, people. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Text-based advent, get out, get banned, uh, get out. The house abandoned, interactive horror adventure. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. I'm sorry, what? Weren't we doing this already? You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. You put the cassettes in the computer and press play. That was our last thing. Okay. Check the glove box. The glove box is closed. Open glove box. There is a note and a key, both of which you take. Read notes. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says get out, 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 get out the car, get out, get out the car, get out the car, get out the car. Wah, get out, get out, get out. And then it ends on a gear. Go out, get. That's what it tells me. You are sat slumped in the car. You have a note clutch in one hand and a key in the other. You need to get out, but you don't really want to. Get out the car. Get it, get it, get it, get it. You reluctantly exit the car. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Go to yard. Someone's not positive. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the notes, needing to look around. Okay. That's a hint. <laughs> there is an old generator next to you. Um, go to generator. You are next to the generator. Um, switch on generator. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up and the light came on. I'm sorry, I don't. The light came on. Okay, the light. Oh God! The the. If you look down there, down there, the opposite of where I am. I'm up here. But if you look down there, you'll see the pictures. Just look. The pictures, the faces have been crossed out. They've been like... That's... That's freaky. Sorry. Distractions, okay? Also, a really nice keyboard. Let's continue. What we were doing... Switch on generator. Did I switch on the generator? Switch... I don't know if I switched on the generator. I can't remember now. Oh, I did, because the lights came on. Of course, of course. Go to front door. You go back to the front of the house. The house looks abandoned. Go to front door. Go to the front fucking door, you piece of shit. Fucking do what I fucking tell ya, ya. Wat poo. Oh really? Don't understand. Yeah. You're daft. You're stupid in the head. Um enter house. The door is locked. Use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. My ears. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay. Enter house. Pitch black, but your senses are 
fuck was that? Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. Hey, hey, this room is stale air and damp. Also, this is the old computer. Oh, shit, no. Are we the guy that was playing? But then there's a second guy that... Oh, shit, is the second guy coming to the house? Are we controlling the second guy? <gasps> Whoa! Pitch black, but your senses are punished. More by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Read note over and over. I'm sorry, I don't... Read note. Switch on lights. That is not how you spell switch. Switch on lights. You switch the light on, but wished you had it. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart. After years of neglect or worse. There's the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in this house. That can't be. Turn off alarm clock. Make it stop, make it stop. Turn off the alarm clock. Oh my god. Make it stop. You cannot make... Okay. Make it stop. Make the alarm clock stop. You, you gotta be careful. Turn off the alarm. Turn alarm off. Fucking al your pieces are shit, man. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here, so we are the person upstairs. There is someone in the back. I would be running right now. There is a kitchen and a living room, adjacent, and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Okay, go upstairs. You head up the stairs to where the noise came from. Same but different. Yo. No, no, no. Answer phone. You hear him answer the phone. Your wind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Someone's telling me to get out. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Okay. Hang up. Relief. Someone is behind the door. The doors are all boarded up with the exception of your room. You have to get in. The pictures look different from before. The note trembles. The guilt is overwhelming. Look at... Pic... No, not pictures. Pictures. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. So it's like those ones down there. Who the hell are we sitting here? Hey, the time is 9999. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay. Um... Enter... Room. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Is it 9999? Um, okay, go downstairs, I guess. Now we have to find the, co the freaking combination. You go, there's a kitchen and living room. Go to... No, go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen sinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there's a carcass on the table. What the fuck? There is writing on the wall and the utility room door has red X painted on it. Um look around. Number 1986 is written across the wall. Fuck! Oh my god! Number 98 is written across the wall in what looks like blood. Okay. Go upstairs. Go exit. You step back to the hallway. Go upstairs. That was not okay, man. That was some freaky bullshit. I'm gonna hide behind this. Hey, look! It's written 1986 next to us now. Oh, shit, and the blood stripping. Okay. Go to door. Go to room. Door is bolted shut with the four digit 19. Whoops, 1986. Enter 1986. Enter 
Um, code. Grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. 1986. The lock clicks open. Someone is behind the door. The doors are all boarded up with the exception of your room. You have to get in. Oh, uh, okay. Enter room. The door is closed. Open door. Oh, fuck. But there's no shadow of another guy. You open the bedroom door. Someone is behind the door. The guilt is open. Okay, um, look around. The landing is bad worn. Photos adorn the wall. Are you kidding? Enter room then. You enter the bed. You enter the bedroom. Feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. I called that shit. The lamp is on. The clock reads 99.99. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. I shouldn't be here. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Um. Um, look at person. Rocking back and forth, consumed by guilt. What am I supposed to say? Um, speak to person. You struggle out a hello. Everything you say, I say. Everything you are, I am. A feeling of hopelessness. You grip on the note. Your grip on the note tightens further. So we're the same person? What? Who are we? Um, read notes. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Don't end it. Don't change the subject. You know what you have to do. I am not going to end it. Well, vaffanculo. Cool. End it then. I don't care. You're pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It was all my freaking fault. Because I'm an asshole that wants to eat potatoes. Oh, please stop. I said that already, ya cowhead. It was all my fault, mother nugget. Oh my god, it was. You can't have any sort of fun. Yeah, finally, finally, yeah, die die if you, you're gonna take away any sort of fun also well shit what just happened the house abandoned ooh, 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 ooh. I like the um, the soundtrack it's pretty cool we have to sit through credits because credits are good credits show if my nose will stop itching credits show who put more into the game who put into the game i mean expect more no code short stories soon good happy to play them thank you for watching guys hope you enjoyed subscribe for more leave a like and comment and i'll see you in the next episode bye